Hello to all you SCP Foundation personnel out there, and welcome to another edition of Meet Your SCPs. I am your host, Dr. Mrs. Jellyfish, and as always, you can call me Mrs. Jellyfish. Today, we will be looking at a dangerous specimen of anomalous pseudo-humanity known colloquially as the Daughter of Darkness, or the Daughter of Night. While she can cut a rather sympathetic figure, make no mistake, this daughter of the dark is a dangerous dame indeed. Let us proceed. Item number SCP-029 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-029 is to be incarcerated in a Class 5 containment cell. She is to be allowed access to nothing of a physical nature. Her containment cell is to be placed behind a triple airlock to avoid her escape. As of Incident 029-34A, SCP-029 is no longer to be fed as she does not appear to need sustenance to survive. There are to be three guards on duty at all times on her cell and two guards on monitor duty. Floodlights have been installed in the walls of the containment chamber and are to be on at all times. Once a month, the chamber is to be cleaned and checked for defects. Under absolutely no circumstances are any men to encounter SCP-029 in any manner. Any males who do encounter SCP-029 are to be held under Class 3 detention for interviewing before termination. SCP-029 has requested a bed, a blanket, books, and clothes, all of which have been denied. Dr. Erica Bodine wrote, This is ridiculous. The girl can't even have clothes. We're not animals. Let her cover herself. And Dr. Light responded, Dr. Bodine, you are granted permission to deliver clothes to SCP-029. As of Incident 029-53B, anyone who has potential access to SCP-029 is required to first watch surveillance tape 029 Bodine as a reminder of threats involved when working with SCP items and SCP-029 in particular. Description SCP-029 appears to be a pubescent female of Asiatic Indian descent. She appears to suffer from alopecia universalis. Over 80% of her pigmentation is a true black, while the rest of her skin has a complete lack of melanin, to the point of albinism. Her eyes are also a dark black in color. SCP-029 has severe homicidal tendencies and has displayed a remarkable ability to use any item as a weapon. However, she has a severe compulsion against shedding blood, preferring instead to strangle her victims. SCP-029 has demonstrated dexterity and physical reactions four times as fast as the average human. SCP-029 has also displayed extensive resistance to damage of all forms. Both of these extra-human abilities are greatly hampered in the presence of bright or direct light, natural or artificial. In addition, any males who come within the presence of SCP-029 an area defined by her current perception, find themselves pliant to her will. Such males become willing to kill or even die for SCP-029. SCP-029 refers to herself as redacted, which roughly translates to Daughter of Darkness, Daughter of Shadows, or Daughter of Night. Interviews with SCP-029 have proven difficult to conduct due to SCP-029's constant attempts to kill or convert all who speak with her. Over her years of captivity, the black patches on her skin have increased in size. SCP-029 was first brought to the Foundation's attention by an agent working in rural India. 
An attempt on his life led him to a small cult of men who claimed to be thuggies in service to the daughter. Several weeks of investigation proved that they believed the world to be in the last years of the Kali Yuga, and that by sacrificing one million lives to the daughter of darkness, they could raise their goddess and end the world. They also believed that the only sacrifices performed through strangulation added to this tally. Events led the agent to their mountain fortress, where he discovered SCP-029. After the loss of said agent, data expunged, which ended in our acquisition of SCP-029. Addendum Seven years after capture, SCP-029 began showing anomalous growth in her black pigmentation. When questioned about it, she claimed her followers were on the move once more. Investigation led us to a concentration of so-called thuggies that had escaped our initial foray. After discovering that all her followers were there for one of their holy days, a tactical airstrike was called in. When the first bomb dropped, SCP-029 awoke from slumber, screaming at the top of her lungs. SCP-029 continued to scream for the next four hours, ranting and raving that we were killing her people. Since said event, the growth of black pigmentation has stopped completely. Also, since said event, SCP-029 has redoubled her efforts to escape. I hope that the relation of the SCP-029 Bodine incident is enough for all of you to understand what a mistake it is to overly sympathize with these creatures. While some of them, like this Daughter of Darkness, look human and may even act human, they are not human. All of you, and me included, are part of the SCP Foundation and we are here to secure, contain, and protect humanity from creatures like this. And as we keep her alive, for all her efforts to escape us and all the personnel that she has killed, we, you and I, are here to secure, contain, and protect her from humanity. A humanity that would exterminate her in a heartbeat should she escape and become too much of a menace. Once upon a time, she could have ruled a part of the world. Well, she kind of did. Now she got out and started to do so again and took too much of the world. We would just nuke it and make some sort of cover story about how that particular area never existed in the first place. With those thoughts, this is Mrs. Jellyfish signing off.